Welcome to 4 Music Presents Badly Drawn Boy. Yes, the man in the hat is back with album number five, the stunningly emotive Born in the UK. The resident man who catapulted to fame back in 2000 with his debut, The Hour of the Bewilder Beast, rapidly stole the hearts of millions with his melodic beats and witty northern charm. With his prestigious Mercury Music Prize, a film score and a whole host of festivals firmly under his hat. The laid-back songsmith has been hailed as one of the most original British talents of recent years. Over the next half an hour, I'll be going one-on-one -on -one with the man himself while he performs exclusive tracks for us right here in the studio. And here he is with his amazing new single, Nothing's Gonna Change Your Mind. This would be easier if you'd understand Face the truth and realise that none of this was planned The way we worry about such little things Take the time to take the break And darling, spread your wings I stole all the roses that make your crown And now it's easier To just put aside the things that face us now Well let's dance to the beat of the drum Let's go out, but we don't know anyone Is it Uh, welcome to 4 Music Presents You. <laughs> uh, Thanks, Edith. How are you? Not so bad, thank you. Nice, nice to have you back. Um, we just heard you playing the new single, Nothing's Gonna Change Your Mind. Mm. Um, can we get a kind of synopsis about what the song's about, first of all? It's the song that I wrote in my head when I met Claire in this nightclub, which is mentioned at the end of the, the album. Um, there's a song called One Last Dance at the very end of the album where I revisit the nightclub where I met Claire who's become the, my long-term girlfriend and mother of the, the kids we've got, and Edie and Oscar. And um, so it's kind of a topsy-turvy order on the album, really, because it seems like that was the song that was in my head when I was trying to date her and she wasn't interested. <laughs> so Nothing's Gonna Change Your Mind is kind of a little reference to that, perhaps, but the whole record's kind of like um, about chance happenings, really, like being born in the UK, for example, is a chance 
thing that you've got no control over. The video for the singles, brilliant. It's, it? if, if you haven't seen it, you're kind of... I have, this, I have seen it. If people haven't seen it, <laughs> <was> you're, it. <laughs> you're kind of sat in a car and you've got the, the pianos, the dashboard and apartment stuff. Do mm. you, are you involved in the whole ideas process of the videos or is it just someone comes up with a treatment for it and you go, yeah, I love that one? Yeah, I have a little bit of input if it's applicable or appropriate, but Dougal Wilson directed this video and it was kind of his idea to put me in this car with a piano and the piano kind of steered and drove the car and reflected the different intensities in the song, like uh, it would go faster when it's an intense bit and slower when it's the, the ballady verses. And I think he's done a brilliant job. Mm. Do you not enjoy having to explain your lyrics? Do you kind of almost like leaving it up to the person who's listening to the music to make up their own opinion of it then? I think you should leave some of it to people's own judgment, yeah, because that's the thing about making records generally is that when it's, when it's in people's houses and it's and it's their own property it's up to them what they make of it really and and they they give it the life that it has yeah but i kind of have to try and d explain it to myself sometimes because I, I honestly don't sit down and know what i'm writing about until it's finished mm. born in the uk is the name of the album has it got anything to do with born in the usa bruce springsteen because you're a massive springsteen fan it's a slight yeah. play on that maybe it is it is obviously a play on it but it's I'm I'm in danger of overdoing this Springsteen thing. I'm Don't aware. Never, I'm, never overdo the Springsteen well, thing. Well, everybody seems to be catching me up on this one. <laughs> I remember that even from being in school, I was 14 when I first heard the song Thunder Road, which is the song that kind of made me think differently about my life. It, I saw this footage of Springsteen performing that, which was a really fluke that I saw it as well because I was flicking channels, Christmas 1984, and I wasn't interested. I kept flicking past the channel, seeing this guy with a headband on and muscles and a cap sleeve t-shirt. Didn't appeal to me whatsoever. And then I flicked back to this channel and Thunder Road had just started playing the piano and harmonica intro. And mm. then I stuck in a videotape and recorded this song because it somehow just connected with me. And then, and then I played it and played it over and over again. Yeah. At the very end of the, the record, I, I do a, there's a tribute to Thunder Road because it, it, it was one of the things that led me to be in this, I think, that when I heard that song. OK, it's time to take a quick break, but just before we do, here is Badly Drawn Boy performing Promises.
nothing to do Sometimes you just have to walk away Remember I do love you Have courage in what you say Promise you will Sometimes you just have to walk away Sometimes you just have to walk away Wishing today was yesterday But Sometimes you just have to walk away Let's go.